hello hello it is chantrinas and today i'm going to be doing a bleach bath followed by bleaching of my roots which is probably the worst bleach job i've ever done so keep watching to see how i did that i guess okay so this bleach bath is pretty easy to do all I did was mix uh, equal parts of uh, bleach and developer, 20 volume or lower to be safe, and then um, a crap ton of shampoo, just like three times the amount of shampoo, maybe even more uh, to the bleach. And I'm just using this on my ends wherever I have color. I started off with the green side because I figured the green would be the hardest to take out. So, um, well, <laughs> the hardest to take out. So, um, yeah, I just started off with the green side and then you'll see me going on to the pink. If you remember, the pink is actually from Overtone and the green, which originally was blue, is from Arctic Fox and my Overtone uh, dye came out so much easier than the uh, Arctic Fox. And um, probably for multiple reasons, mostly because pink is easier to get out. And the blue that I had in, which turned to green, is usually harder to get out, so. That's why I started off with the green. I ended up actually liking the color it turned out to be. After I left in the uh, bleach bath for 10 minutes, I washed it out because the pink side was coming out really fast and I didn't want to damage my hair, so I just washed it out even though the green side wasn't finished yet. And I ended up really liking how the blonde and the green looked. I think maybe eventually I'll do uh, green hair. I don't think I've ever done like a lime green hair, but. Yeah, this is what that looked like. I thought it looked really cute. It reminded me of Khalees, honestly, um, like when she used to dye her hair crazy colors. Next up, this is a couple days later. I think maybe four or five days later. I'm going in with that same bleach, but with a higher volume developer. I'm using 30 volume this time. And a key here is to make sure that your hair is stretched out fully or even straightened before you try to do any type of bleaching. That's what I typically do. I don't know why this time I thought I could get away with just having a braid out that was brushed out in order to do my roots, but I highly recommend that you straighten your hair before doing any type of bleach job. That's just what works for me. Do what works for you, of course, but um, when it comes to my hair, when I go to section it, especially in this video, you can see it was much harder to section than normal um, when I do my bleaching. Another thing I wish I would have done, I wish I would have started off with the green side instead of the already blonde side. It is pretty difficult to try to not overlap um, when it comes to doing the roots. I definitely should have started off with the green side, but um, yeah, you can see here I'm going over the already blonde bits when I should just be focusing on the darker parts. It was pretty hard to do, it was hard to section, my hair wasn't detangled as much as it could have been. But you live and you learn, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on going here. Learn from my mistakes, make sure your hair is stretched out fully where you can easily detangle and section your hair.
and as you can see here i was not at all satisfied with the results the re the top of my head looked fine it's just that when i went to the back i saw um like a pale blonde which i am very afraid of i never want my hair to get that light unless i was trying to do like a pastel and i definitely loosened my curl pattern more than i wanted um i don't like how that looks it was way too light i'm just like i don't even know what to do with that but in my next video you'll see what i ended up doing and hopefully you guys like it i won't be posting that until my hair finishes drying probably sometime tomorrow or um maybe later in the week but yeah this is what my hair ended up looking like learn from this video please make sure your hair is stretched before you try to bleach it I think that's probably the only thing I could have changed in order to make sure I didn't over process that part. Anyway, check back. My hair isn't completely fried, I promise. I will be posting another video coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, learn from my mistakes. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.